Bentley Dell, here I come. you might ask. Lilydale is uh, the largest community, little village here, of spiritualists. Um, so there's a lot of mediums here. Um, mediums are also psychic. Um, but yeah, so it's one of those places that I just had to come visit uh, because of who I am and what I do. I'm not necessarily here to get a reading, but I'm just here to check it out. You know, it's, it's a really cool town. It's been here for a long time. I think this is like um, 136 years now that's been here. So it's been here a while and um, just kind of getting a feel energetically for the place. And I think it's really cool to be surrounded by a bunch of uh, other mediums and psychics, even though we all have that uh, in us, I believe. So, uh, yeah, that's really all I'm doing here is, is just walking around and checking it out and sitting down and meditating and walking trails and I haven't really talked to many people yet. Um, we'll see if uh, I get the chance to, to talk to people. People are pretty quiet here, it seems, but we'll see. I'm enjoying this place though. It's got a, it's got a good feel to it. All right. So there's a number of little streets in Lilydale, and mostly all these houses, about 95% probably have mediums in them that you can choose to have a reading from. It's very cool. It's a cool labyrinth. This here is the local pet cemetery to honor our four-legged friends in spirit. And this trail heads down to the stump where messages are given for people at around one o'clock from spirit. So I'm gonna head that way and see what I can see. <laughs> because of the weather, it's been moved to the auditorium. Nothing like a little storm. Love how these willow trees blow in the wind. Let's see if I can make it to my van before it starts to pour. And 
when it rains, I get to enjoy my van. <laughs> Luckily, I'm working tonight, so it's kind of perfect. Well, I feel like I'm kind of just going everywhere these days, but um, so I was in Lilydale, which is a really sweet uh, community of mediums and psychics. It's really cool. Um, recommend going there to an experience for sure. Uh, and it was really good actually to um, to listen to some of the people coming out of these houses after getting a reading and some of their experiences. Uh, mostly positive. Some, you know, not you know, not not positive, or or at least like didn't feel like they connected. But mostly, for the majority, uh, a lot of the people did, which was really sweet. And some people were just blown away. They're like, oh, I couldn't believe they knew this and they said that, and you know. So a lot of people go there not believing in uh, in spirit. You know, not believing in afterlife, not believing in, you know, the soul, I guess, in some ways. And they, they leave their believers, which, to me, is a huge reason to do the work that, that I do, you know, is, is helping people believe in their own immortality, in that sense, you know, their own soul, their own divinity. Um, it's pretty sweet, and it's really awesome. To see people going there and you know stuck in and their you know belief systems of, of there's no such thing as spirit or you know whatever and, and leaving there is, their minds totally blown in a whole new realm completely opens up to them and it's really sweet but today uh, I've traveled a little further north in New York and yesterday I, I, I met these people and it was really sweet I was a guest speaker in a, uh, a little spirit circle uh, in town. Gosh, I don't even know what the town was, but it was near Buffalo, New York. And then I saw this amazing sunset. Check the sunset out. It was amazing. Beautiful colors. Oh my God. Now, uh, I am hiking this trail in Chestnut Ridge Park, uh, yeah, Chestnut Ridge Park, and there's a waterfall here, and it's called the Eternal Flame Falls, and uh, there's actually a flame, like natural gas flame, inside, kind of like behind this waterfall, um, that stays lit, it's the Eternal Flame, and I'm like, well, that's some cool shit there, I gotta see that, right? So, um, yeah, so I'm hiking on this trail now, and uh, we'll see if I can find it.
have it, right? A flame underneath a small waterfall. Don't see that very often. Very cool. It's definitely beautiful out here. So remember, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you soon.